Alright family, greetings to you all and welcome to the channel. It's your brother Prince Ayoko. I'm sending my lovely greetings to you all from Ticheli, a suburb of Tamale. Ticheli is a village about um, 25 minutes drive away from Tamale. And today I've come to you know Ticheli to check on some lands that I have here. Um, as you can see, all these trees here, in this natural, beautiful lands here. Um, it's a very nice place that I have a lot of plants, you know, future plants, you know, to, to use to develop this land. And um, here on this land, there's a lot of share nut trees. All these trees that you see are share nut trees. Um, except a few, just a few of the trees here that is not share nut tree. So uh, about 95% of the trees here are share nut trees. And they are natural tree, trees. No one pl planted them. They are very, very indigenous trees. Not even a single one of these trees is being planted by someone, including all these natural plants that you see here. It's all nature. It's all indigenous plants. So, um... I'm having a plan to develop this land, but I'm still keeping that plan very secret. And as you can see, there's something that I've come to check for at least um, to share the, the at least just a few of the lands that I have with you. Uh, whenever it's time for me to develop and I come here to start my developments, no one will be surprised again because um, you already know who, where I am with regards to these natural uh, plants that we have here. And even the nature here is very nice. Just look at all of these places. Very nice natural place. And I like it. I like those natural plants because see, these are uh, share nut trees that I have here on the land. It can produce food for me. It can produce, you know, fruits for me to eat and it can also I can also drive oil from the share, share nuts so that is a lot of blessing but you know it is always good to have so much lands and it's good to invest on lands investing on lands is very very good because when you have lands your children your grandchildren your family no one will have problem with where they will sleep because they can build on the land especially when you have you know a lot of children it will be good for you to also have a lot of land so i'm just sharing with you for you to see um what i'm talking about with regards to lands i always tell you that i have uh, you know i have lands i have lands but i've never shared that with you in reality for you to see what i'm talking about now these are the lands that i've been talking about as you can see our beautiful Share nut tree. You see how the skin is very nice and you know very beautiful. The leaves is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. And these are the younger ones. These are the younger share nut trees that I still have on the land. So there's a lot of trees here that is growing up. It's, there's a lot of trees here that is growing up. For instance, this plant we call it in Dagbanli we call it dusumam. Dusumam. Dusumam is um. A mosquito uh, resistant plant mosquitoes don't like this plant so wherever there is this plant there is no much mosquitoes there especially when it is a lot but for the fact that it's not a lot here um, when I'm when I build at any time here and I want to use it I'll just cut them and then either plant them and have them in my room or just put them somewhere in my room it is the smell of it that mosquitoes don't like so I will have future plans for this plant called Dunsumam. So that's the name. Once again, it's Dunsumam in Dagbanle. And um, we have a lot of tree species here. We also have the West African locust bean tree here that we get our dawadawa from. The dawadawa that is good for, you know, high blood pressure and also cures stroke and also cleans the blood as well as has some Kind of cures for the body we have i have that plant uh, tree here on this land it's over there and 
um okay i just have to take you to show you that uh particular tree that i'm talking about the west african locals bean tree that's the dawa dawa tree so keep watching but please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new click on the notifications girl, uh, bell to get more uh, notifications on my upcoming videos share my contents as much as you can with your family and friends and then also like my videos thank you so much for watching but please continue to see what i'm gonna teach you today with regards to our plants and the plants that i have on my lands here see <laughs> as i always tell you uh, remember that i'm also an, uh, a livestock farmer and as a livestock farmer this place is good for livestock you can see that people's livestock is already grazing here yeah people's livestock has already started to graze here so that's what i'm talking about for me being a livestock farmer when i have my big animal farms here have my house here and just live in nature wow that would, that would be so good but it's on my plants it's on my plants and i'm planning so much towards that definitely it's gonna happen soon at least when i finish Prince guest house that will be my, my next biggest project that i'm gonna do so i'm just taking you through this is a neem tree here see this is a neem tree i have a lot of tree species here this is a neem tree which was which is also good for cleaning the tooth when you cut the 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 the, the um just a stick of it when you cut it and then chew it it is very good for stomach aches you know and, and, i mean so for stomach pains and it's also good for cleaning our teeth so that is what we do mm -hmm. i just got a chewing stick like that <laughs> so um there's a lot of information that when we share people can learn and that is why we are sharing all this information today has really been a sunny, sunny day so that's why i'm sweating so this is the west african uh, locust bean tree this is the west african locust bean tree in the Bali we call it do in the Bali we call it do so we use the fruits to uh, uh to cook porridge for breakfast and then we use the seeds to make dawa dawa to cook our soup and dawa dawa is also good for the body it has so many nutrients that is good for the body and the skin of the fruit the skin to the fruit we soak it with water and then we use it to wet our traditional homes that's our local touch homes to prevent the walls from uh rain rain a kind of rainforest that can affect the walls so when we apply the when we soak the skin to the fruits in water the, it turns the color of it is so brown and then we add something to it so when we add that thing to it we call it zuelgu. when we add the zuelgu to it it becomes like when water falls on it it automatically wipes the water so it's a water resistant uh natural water resistant thing that we use to you know uh, apply on our walls in the villages not in towns <laughs> so um that is it that's the west african locust bean tree but currently there's no more fruits on top of the tree there's no more fruits it's just the tree that is there but at least you can see the tree in the Bali, once again we call it do the seed the fruits is called dory the seeds is called zuna in the Bali. so and the and the uh the shields or the skin to the fruits is called the sandy or the sampare i'm teaching you the Bali today <laughs> and you can see this particular plant it also grows up to be a tree and it is um it is uh, a a, a salsa or something that looks more like um a a, a a, 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 a kind of apple we call it apple but in Dagbanle we call it bulumbo that's the name in Dagbanle bulumbo it's very sweet it's a fruit tree when it grows and it starts to bear fruits the, the fruit is very sweet so we call it bulumbo so to the Dagombes who are on my channel or not if you miss bulumbo on your childhood 
whilst you were taking care of your parents' animals in the bushes. This is bolombo for you, but unfortunately, the sea, the fruit is not ready. <laughs> yeah, and then we, are, we also have this tree here we call ga. Ga is another tree species in northern Ghana that is very good. So you see the ga tree, the shena tree, and the West African locust bean tree is from the same family. It's from the same family, it's from the Fabica C family of you know, trees. So this is the gar. Unfortunately, the gar has the fruits on it. Um, my cameraman, come come closer. The, 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 the seed is called Gaia, as you can see. It's very sweet, it's very, very sweet. So Gaia, very soon Gaia will be in season. So I'm just taking you through some plants for you to see exactly what I have here on the land. Meaning that this is a blessing. It is a blessing to have all these two trees on my land that I did not plant and that I did not take care of. It's just natural, something that God has blessed me with. And I thank God and thank my ancestors for making this possible in my life and in my family's life. So family, as you can see, someone has already built his house here. That will be my next door neighbor in the future. So that's what I'm telling you. Um, life is all about planning ahead, you know, the future, or planning towards the near future and making your plans work. So family, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you so much for your patience. Till we meet again on my next video, um, it's your brother Prince Ayoko sending my peaceful and lovely greetings to you wherever you are. Stay blessed, stay focused, may the almighty God and our ancestors bless us. Peace. One love.